DJI has been the undisputed king in the consumer drone industry for many years, and 2024 looks to be even more special, as DJI is set to launch a whole bunch of new drones for each of its lineup. We might see the highly anticipated Mavic 4, people's favorite Air 3S, and also a whole new beginner-friendly drone lineup called the Neo. For every sort of need, in terms of aerial photography, DJI has you covered, pushing the limits of what consumer drones can do. So, if you are a drone enthusiast, this video is perfect for you, as we will be sharing all the key details of all the upcoming drones from DJI, and what you should expect from each of these drones. The buzz about DJI drones started with a tweet from Jasper Ellens, which appears to be a mysterious beta testing unit of the drone. Though some drone enthusiasts still consider it to be an upgrade to the Air model, we have more information that would clarify the fact that it is a Mavic 4. Previously, Igor Bogdanov shared an image of drone batteries from where the confusion between Air and Mavic was created. Now, another tweet was shared recently by Jasper Ellens, where he claimed a drone to be possibly the Mavic 4. From the image, the drone neither looks like the Air 3 nor the Mavic 3 Pro. It does appear to have a dual lens camera frame, more like the Mavic 3 model. And from the size of what we can tell, it's a bit larger than the Air 3's body. Well, the DJI Mavic 3 series was first launched in 2021, with follow-up models such as the Mavic 3 Classic and Pro in 2022 and 2023 respectively. Since we are already halfway down the year, and DJI often holds a launch event in the September-October session, it seems like the Mavic 4 is very close to the unveiling. Now, let's jump into the upgrades that you should expect from the DJI Mavic 4 or 4 Pro, whatever you want to call it. According to the tweet from Ellens, the Mavic 4 is likely to come up with a 1-inch sensor. But the Mavic 3 already offers a 4x3 CMO sensor, so will DJI degrade the sensor? Not really, he is probably referring to a true 1-inch sensor, which can really change the game of aerial cinematography. You will get much sharper images and details from this new sensor than the Mavic 3. Besides, the battery size is going to increase significantly to offer more flight time. As we saw from the previous tweet where Igor Bogdanov shared images of batteries, the first battery does seem larger than the Mavic 3's S. So, with the increase in capacity, you can expect at least 50 minutes of flight time from the Mavic 4. This will also let you capture your desired shots with more flexibility. Since we talk so much about the Mavic 4, doesn't mean the Air 3S not coming. In fact, the Air 3S might be just a few days away. Newly leaked images of Air 3S have completely turned the attention towards itself, giving us more details about the camera upgrades. We have previously seen how the DJI Air 2S were full of features, yet at a much more affordable price. And the Air 3S is going to be no exception. With the upcoming Air 3S drone, we will be getting back the much-anticipated 1-inch sensor, which was missing on the regular Air 3. We have been seeing prototypes of the Air 3S for quite some time now, and now we have got the first hands-on picture of the drone. Credit goes to Ossital V. This gives a much more accurate and comprehensive look at the flyer with some intriguing details. Based on the tweet shared by Ossital V, the upcoming Air 3S will feature a 1-inch ultra-wide lens, capturing wider and sharper images. The inclusion of a larger sensor will not only allow Air 3S to perform better in low light, but also give you more control over your shots. On top of that, due to the ultra-wide lens, you will be able to zoom in on distant objects without losing the resolution. Besides, the image reveals that Air 3S will support 14 exposure values f-stops aimed at extending the dynamic range, giving you more flexibility while capturing sunset and landscape shots. It will have better nose reduction offering vibrant images, and making it even better for nighttime aerial photography. Ossetil V further mentioned in another tweet that Air 3S should be capable of capturing panoramic shots at up to 13,000 x 6,500 pixels. However, the main camera is expected to retain the 1 by 1.3 inch 48 megapixel sensor like its predecessor. We have got more pictures from different angles, which were shared by Igor Bogdanov. Air 3S has a similar appearance to Air 3, but the gimbal has been redesigned significantly having a bit roundish shape on top. This was perhaps made to accommodate the larger sensor. But apart from that, you won't see much of a difference from the outside. Well, 
Overall, it looks like DJI is planning to bring huge upgrades to the Air 3S, like they have been doing with its Air S series. Even with such prominent upgrades, the attention is still on a whole new lineup called Neo. It is expected to be an affordable alternative to DJI Avatar and probably the most beginner-friendly drone to date. First, let's talk about the design. At first glance, it does look like a miniature version of Avatar. And as we mentioned earlier, DJI Neo weighs only 135 grams based on the leaks. To give you a more specific idea, the iPhone 15 is 170 grams, so DJI has managed to pull off a drone that weighs less than most smartphones. How crazy is that? From its appearance, we are pretty much certain that DJI Neo is built to act like your personal travel drone for on-the-go aerial photography, just like we saw on the Snap Pixie. But with DJI Neo, you get a much higher resolution and better performance. Based on the spec chart shared by Igor Bogdanov, Neo will feature a 1x2-inch sensor that will allow you to shoot 4K videos up to 30 frames per second. This is pretty decent, considering the size of the drone. And for still images, you will be able to capture 12 megapixel photos. Besides, the drone will offer AI tracking, quick shots, and many more control features for a convenient user experience. For instance, you can choose between normal mode or cinema mode, which ensures the aircraft stays stable as it shoots video, while sports mode makes it more responsive to control stick movements. The DJI Neo will feature OcuSync 4 transmission technology, offering up to 10 kilometers of transmission range, which you might not even require for such a drone. As for the battery life, Neo is expected to offer up to 18 minutes of flight time and a maximum flight distance of up to 7 kilometers. So, you have to be a little conscious while flying and make sure you get your desired footage ASAP. According to the leaks, DJI will bundle the drone with its DJI RCN 3 remote control as part of a Fly More combo. Nonetheless, the DJI Neo will be compatible with the DJI Goggles 3. Moving towards another highly anticipated drone from DJI, the Mini 5 Pro. Well, we do not have much information about it since it is not expected to be released in 2024. But fans have a whole lot of expectations from the Mini 5 Pro since the Mini 4 Pro wasn't up to the mark. Now don't get us wrong, the Mini 4 is a great drone overall. You get a high quality camera with 4K resolution and great flight time. However, you will find most features almost identical to its predecessor. So, starting with a must-have upgrade for the Mini 5 Pro is a larger image sensor, providing more resolution with a better dynamic range. Both the Mini 3 and 4 Pro features a 1x1.3-inch CMO sensor, offering 4K footage. Though you get some extra frames per second for filming with the Mini 4, a smaller sensor limits the overall capability of the camera. What's a bit of a shock is that DJI has used a similar sensor for their Air 3 as well, downgrading from the 1-inch sensor and also sacrificing the resolution. So, to improve the overall image quality, the DJI Mini 5 Pro is expected to come up with a 1-inch sensor, allowing you to capture stunning 4K images at up to 120 frames per second. And with the larger sensor, you will have the advantage of shooting low-light images with less noise and more visibility due to more lights getting inside the sensor. So overall, DJI is truly gearing up for 2024 with some incredible upgrades to its drones. Which model are you mostly excited about? Throw all your thoughts in the comments, give this video a thumbs up, and subscribe to our channel to keep yourself updated with all the latest tech news.